Hey guys, this is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. So crazy stuff is going on in the markets as always. I mean, our markets are always crazy these days, but um, uh, the thing I noticed is um, I step off the plane, I'm at the airport here in Minneapolis, and I guess our credit rating, the USA, uh, may go down. This is um, Fitch. Uh, they're saying basically um, that they're worried about sort of, you know, that the Democrats and Republicans can't make a deal. And so like, can you trust the USA can pay its bills? Um, and uh, we've been talking about this, you know, raising the credit limit or not. Now, usually it goes down to the wire and they always raise it, but um, you don't necessarily want uh, the USA credit rating to go down. It just means people have less confidence that we'll pay our bills. Um, some of the quotes here from this thing is, um, the ratings watch negative reflects increased political partisanship that is hindering reaching a resolution to raise or suspend the debt limit, despite the fast approaching uh, X date. Um, moreover, it's saying that, um, these default could trigger a recession. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I, I, I'm not really in panic mode quite yet, but the date, you know, I'm, right now is um, May 24. So we got another week still. Um, so, you know, I, I, like I said, it usually goes down right down to the wire, but you know, these kind of things that people are sort of losing confidence. However, um, the other big news today, which is kind of interesting one is, is uh, Nvidia. Um, I was just looking at, this is crazy. So we're in after hours now It's 7 PM here. Um, in the Midwest, and uh, so I guess Eastern time, like eight o'clock, something like that. 24% up in the after hours, can you guys believe that? So um, on the year, we're talking about NVIDIA here, it's already up 80%, now another 24. And for this type of company, it's kind of crazy. I mean, you're looking at, um, what is this, market cap of, um, you know, $755 billion. So, I mean, usually for the size of company, it's not like it just suddenly increases 25% in value, like in a day, that's kind of crazy. Um, so if you had to ask me, I mean, that's kind of bubble territory here, but you know, according to NVIDIA, they're saying, you know, that chat GPT stuff, AI stuff, that's gonna be worth a ton of money. Um, I'd be curious what you guys' thoughts on that. We've looked at the NVIDIA chart before. Let me just pull it up here. Um, I mean, it looks like a, a, a double top to me kind of situation though. Uh, I'm gonna be really curious though, if it can pass its all time highs um, going into the trading day tomorrow. Um, you know, the thing is, is, we're all basing it on projections, right? So the, the problem is that like right now, this, I look at it right now, um, you know, you're looking at a P ratio of like something like 175, which is kind of ludicrous. So that means, you know, you expect Nvidia's uh, profits to what, go 200% next year, <laughs> something like that. Like, well, I mean, it's like crazy, right? So, um, you know, remember that uh, Nvidia is sort of the center of the um, crypto sort of bubble. Um, be it the you know FSD slash robot kind of bubble. So th th they certainly make great tech. I mean, they totally do. So I'm not saying that they don't, um, but it reminds me of something like an Intel back in the dot-com bubble. So um, this is something I always want you guys to be aware of is yes, companies can be good. Yes, companies can be uh, profitable, but doesn't necessarily mean that you pay any price. Um, although evidently that's sort of the market's telling you pay any price for Nvidia. Um, the thing that I think I find fascinating about this one is you guys know, um, China sort of was like um, saying, you know, no, no to Micron, stuff like that. And I, I think what's going to be happening, this is my opinion on this one, or not my opinion, but I just think it's going to happen is the USA will be will be investing more in its um, local domestic chips uh, companies, which I do think is, is probably frank, is the right decision. Um, it, it is something that is definitely going to feature everything needs chips. So I think there will always be going to support behind it. Um, but, you know, does it justify these kind of levels and on this size of companies, let's say, for example, NVIDIA to be, you know, boosted that much? And then the big trick is, is going to be, of course, um, what, what's going to happen with something like a, an Intel that's just been bleeding cash <laughs> and continue to bleed cash. So we'll see. Um, I got to go catch my other fly. I just wanted to just give some thoughts on this stuff with you guys. And, um, you know, part of the things you got to have with this thing is, is always have a sense of humor about it because our market just seems probably like a clown, clown show. I don't know how to say it. I mean, you have, you know, some stocks are just exploding on one end and then you have the other end, our USA credit rating is going down. And also too, uh, Fed is keep raising interest rates. I think it was just like the other day, we we're talking about Jamie Dimon was like, you know, expect six, 7% interest, this kind of stuff. And um, it, funny news, true, true story. Uh, if you look at places like, you know, um, Italy, stuff like that, they're having a pasta strike slash pasta crisis, if you can believe that. Um, the basic gist of it is that um, pasta prices are up like, you know, some ludicrous amount. I think it was like 20 some percent like that. And it's funny because if you eat a ton of pasta and, and it, you know, um, prices increase that much, it's a big rupture on your wallet. So <laughs> true story, I'm not making it up. Pasta crisis, pasta strike over in Italy. So um, anyway, this is your daily news. I'll, I'll try to get more comprehensive when I, when I uh, get to my mom's house. And if you guys don't know, I'm meeting my family for the first time today. So um, it's real exciting uh, times and I'm looking forward to sharing everything with you guys. So thanks again for watching and um, I'll catch you in the next video.